Hello, YouTubers. This is Shamika. I'm growing up scale hair. Um, I'm growing up scale hair store dot com. I, was, I did a product review on the tape, and I'm doing a second part, part two, on liquid adhesives. It can be very expensive trying all these different adhesives for your lace wigs. And I, I'm doing this product review to hopefully alleviate some of your questions or um, concerns when it comes to the whole time for the lace wigs or closures or toupees or you know whatever hair system you have. So um, hopefully this can help you when it comes to purchasing because you know you don't want to spend your hard earned money on these, all these different adhesives and it can be very 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 expensive. So today we're going to do liquids. I'm going to go through a couple of products. I'm also going to go through consistency of them, the uh, and how the ease of the applications are. The first product is the liquid tape silicone. It's a silicone based adhesive, and this one has a projected hold time. I'm going to go through two things: the projected hold time and the hold time that I've experienced and I've experienced on my clients. The projected hold time is from two to ten days. This is great for daily wearers. Um, for me, it lasted three days. And uh, it's okay. I mean, it's good for if you wearing them. You're taking them off pretty frequently. If you're taking them off for the weekend, like you might, something might wear them for the weekend. The consistency of it is pretty uh, easy. It's a little bit of a of a string, but not much. Not much compared to some of the other ones. So as in the ease of use, I would probably rate this ten being the best. I would probably rate this about an eight. The eight as in the use and the application of the brush and everything. You can probably actually use that brush because it's nice and easy. The second liquid is a water based, uh, water, uh, waterproof adhesive which is the Dazzling. They have the Dazzling in this container which is black and they have the Dazzling in the green container. To be perfectly honest, I don't know the difference. I used both. I didn't see a difference in both. So I can't say, you know, if I like one better than the other. Um, the projected hold for this they don't actually state, the manufacturer doesn't actually state, um, but for me it lasts about a week and a half and when I stay the whole time for these products I'm stating only using this product and no other product and like I said in the tape uh, uh, video, I, uh, you can use this in conjunction with tape and the liquids, but, not two liquids, but tape and a liquid, I just use one product only I just want to see how the hold up time was for this. So the hold up time for me was about a week and a half. I love how easy it is to use this. Some people can have a hold as long as the ultra hold, which is what we're hope as is well known for. But the ease of this product is ridiculous. The the application brush, like seriously. It's like if you can paint your your nails, you can paint this. There's no goo, there's no strain and you're not trying, oh my gosh, it's just, I'm telling you, if you use Ultra Hold and you begin getting frustrated, especially if you're going to apply your own unit, I do strongly urge you to try dabbling because it's very easy for you to use, especially if you're, in, you're new to wearing lace wigs. So, I give this a freaking 10 for um, the ease and use of it. The whole time is a little bit less for me, but it's a week and a half, I would say for me, for, but for you it might be a little bit different depending on your body chemistry. Baton no tape. Baton no tape. I am a fan of Baton no tape. It comes in a tube. It also comes in a little bottle like this. Normally I purchase the tube. The, tube. Um, the key to this product is you have to let it dry and then you attach it. This product has a stated hold time of four to six weeks and it's definitely very close. I like it. I use it. Um, the ease of it has a little bit of a strength, but considering it has a tube, normally I use a tube and then I use a little uh, popsicle stick to smooth it out and make a nice thin layer. You only really need one layer. And it does last pretty long. It lasts with me definitely three weeks. I'm a big fan of the new tape. So if you're looking for a, whole, a longer hold time, you may want to try the new tape. The other product uh, I'm going to review is the Ultra Hold. This is a half an ounce bottle. It comes in another 3.4 ounce bottle and it comes in some larger salon style bottles. I normally, even though I apply late my lace unit, I normally don't buy larger than a 3.4 ounce because of 
you know how hard it is to close it and you don't want a big product like that to dry out because you just wasted your money but for as an ultra hold it has been extremely good hold time for myself and for a lot of my clients and the hold time projected from the manufacturer is four to six weeks and I definitely think it's very close um, three weeks for me using this product alone um, I think I'm going to give you a very good tip please hear me out I know the directions may say to let the product be tacky I'm telling you to let it almost dry because you don't want the adhesive to come through your lace and a lot of people have such a hard time with this product because of the, the stringiness this product as regards to ease of use probably like a, a four because it's very stringy like even me just open up the lid and you can see one of the strings it's very hard to use if you're not used to it and probably the, the tip that the best trick to using this product is to put very little on your application brush and like I said before I'll use like a brush that people use to uh, wax your eyebrows like if you go to Sally's you get the long sticks it's a lot easier to use so I'm giving this in regards to ease of use probably three or four if you're not used to it or not you know very careful with it and in regards to hold time I give it like a nine it, it does hold very very well for me and for most of my clients very good product another product is the Invisibon the Invisibon is white it can come in uh, two other colors it comes in light brown and come in uh, dark brown so whenever your skin complexion you have something that blends in it goes on white and it clears dry. Um, the projected hold time, I don't have a projected hold time. The manufacturer of that product does not have a projected hold time. For me, it's only about three days. If I use the product alone, I only use that product alone. Um, but in regards to ease of use, I give it a 10. It goes on, it's just white and uh, not stringy, it's just like glue. You put it on, and when you see it clear, you attach it. So it's very easy to use. The whole time for me has been uh, not that long, and the whole time for most uh, like some of I didn't try that many people, but most people that I've tried, it wasn't that long. Um, and like I said before, it doesn't have a projected whole time. So I've seen other people state that it state that it lasts longer, but if you're using it in conjunction with tape, you can't really say it's that product that's lasting as long. Understand what I'm saying? So if you're used to putting your wigs on maybe every weekend and taking them off when you go go to work during the week, you may want to use that product because, you know, you're not keeping it on that long. So it just comes off um, when it does, uh, when it starts to break down, it's like in little balls. So it's kind of like you have to pick all those off when it's time to clean them, which can be good or bad for other people. And Dorabon. And Dorabon and Dorabon and Dorabon. The projected hold time. I think it doesn't have a projected hold time for this product. I normally check out the manufacturer of the product and what they state and they don't have a hold time for that product. For me it's very long, probably like a month, extremely long, like definite long, definite amount of time. But it's very, I don't suggest everyone use it. I definitely think you should be a professional if you use that product because I've had some stories where people came in and they've had someone who applied that and their skin. So. If you're if you're not a professional, do not probably even fool with that. But if you do try to use it, use very very little. You do not need a lot. And a good thing about that product is when you sweat and when you work out when you go swimming, it does the opposite. It cures. It gets even tighter. And um, it's a good product. I haven't personally used it on my, myself. I do use it on a couple of my clients because they have like a little trouble with some of their holding times. So I have used it. And I don't use it a lot, and they they seem to you know be okay with it. Um, so in summary, I believe in regards to ease of use, how easy it is for you to apply your own unit, I would say the dabbling. The dabbling is very easy to use. It, it, it's, it's really easy. You let it dry and then you attach it. Or the vape pine note tape. You let it dry and you attach it and the consistency of it. The whole time, if you want something that's longer, you're going to want to try a note tape and also an ultra hold. That's my product review on the liquid adhesives. I still have a few more. I have five more left. I have a Truly Unique Hair. She has a line of uh, three adhesives, or Nirvana, a Bliss, and an Infinity products. And I, I keep saying I'm going to get to them. I just, not, I just haven't had the time to actually use them. So hopefully it will probably take me like two months. I'll give them all a try, and I'll give you a review. I'll give you my honest opinion. And like I said before, 
Uh, I sell them on my site, and uh, and there's also two other ones I'm going to do, um, Hollister and the Spirit Gum. So I'm going to do all those products for you, and I'll give you a review. So hopefully, I just did what six liquids today. So hopefully, I'll be able to help you out a little bit. Um, if you have any questions, email me um, or uh, hit me up with a comment. All right, thank you.